Hey everyone, it's Seven Bell Canto. I have another book re book review for you today. The book I will be reviewing is When You Wish Upon a Duke by Sherris Michaels, and it is part of a series called Awakened by a Kiss. This is book two in the series. The first book, I believe, is a retelling of Snow White, and this is sort of a retelling of Tinkerbell. So if you watched my November TBR, I thought that this was going to be about Tinkerbell and Hook, but it wasn't about Hook at all. Our hero is Jason, and he is the Jason North Beckett, the Duke of Northumberland. And our heroine is Miss Isabel Tinker, and she works at a travel agency. Now, typically, with her job, she helps um, upper-class women and their chaperones go on sort of trips abroad. So, you know, dowagers wanting to visit Rome and Italy and young ladies wanting to go to Paris and study art or meet a suitor, that sort of thing. So sadly for her, she is sort of controlled by her boss, who is Mr. Drummond Hook. And he sort of like ogles her, ogles her. He kind of harasses her a lot of the time. And he basically says, you know, this could all be yours and you could have a lot more freedom with your job if you marry me. Then it would basically be more socially appropriate for you to have a job because you'd be working for your husband's company and not being employed by a man or basically. Well, she's really not interested at all in Mr. Drummond Hook. And one day she and her um, associate, Samantha, are... It's just a slow day at the travel agency, and they are approached by a mysterious lurker, and Isabel is not having it. She's seen this man by the agency before, and so she gets her parasol and sort of chases after him and sees what is his deal. Why is he sort of skulking the place? And she finally um, gets in touch, reaches him, and basically says, hey, what's going on? And he sort of leads on to, he leads on saying that he knows um, he needs to go travel to Iceland. And I think he's heard that she has been to Iceland before and could she be set up the travel for him, like since she's a travel agent. And also, could she go with him as a companion and sort of being interpreter and also help him with the lay of the land? Well, with Mr. Drummond Hook being so conniving and manipulative, she decides, well, it couldn't be worse for wear going with this man. So she and Jason embark on an adventure. It is a little more than just a short little trip to Iceland to look at the land. Um, he is actually on a government mission. He has recently been inducted into the dukedom because um, of, I believe his father passed, so he inherited the title and all that, that entails. But his cousin has gotten into a pretty murky situation in Iceland with some Nordic pirates. This book was wonderful. It was a five-star read for me. And I really just love the character of Isabel as well as Jason. They had some wonderful bantering, some great dialogue between each other. Um, I felt that Isabel did have a lot of archetypes resembling Tinkerbell from the, from the children's novel. But she wasn't quite as sassy in my opinion, but the essence of Tinkerbell was definitely there, especially in her, um, her uh, characterization, how she looked. She was blonde. I believe she had green eyes as well. And it didn't say anything about being curvy, but I don't ever really think about Tinkerbell being sort of curvy. I know like in the Disney cartoon, she might like look at her butt a little bit or something. At that one, at, there's one point in the movie where I think she does sort of check out her butt or whatever, but um, I don't remember anything like that. But um, this just had really great characters. It had a lot of humor. I laughed out loud throughout this book. Like from the beginning to the very end, I had giggles. 
if you're someone that really likes um, British humor, especially when it regards to like manners and decorum and sort of being put into situations that you know aren't socially acceptable, but you kind of go with it. There was a lot of that kind of humor, and I really enjoy that as a reader and just in general. But, yes, this was a five-star read. It was um, sort of not, I wouldn't call it a pirate romance, but this did have a large portion that took place at sea on a ship. And there was some adventure with pirates. And there's also a few more um, links between Isabel Tinker and the story of Tinkerbell and Peter Pan and all of that. So I really enjoyed this. I would absolutely love, as you can see, for a mermaid, Little Mermaid one. I adore mermaids. I thought this shirt was sort of appropriate for the video since it is a fairy tale. And um, I love Little Mermaid, but I also really love the kind of sassy, maniacal mermaids from the Peter Pan <laughs> um, Disney movie. I thought they were they're kind of savage. <laughs> they really are. But yes, I really did love this book. It was When You Wish Upon a Duke. And yeah, it was a, it was a, sort of a long book. Um, it was 398 pages, but I read it fairly quickly. And it had just a great story and it didn't seem to drag. If anything, I felt that in the last um, quarter of the book, it felt a little rushed, but not in the way of character development or even plot it was just sort of like everything sort of happened and then it was just sort of like okay let's sort of wrap up some loose ends so the ending did feel slightly rushed towards me but honestly if it didn't rush at some point it probably would have been a 600 page novel but honestly I enjoyed every page of it so I wouldn't have minded a 600 page historical romance I love historical romance it's my favorite genre of, um, or subgenre of romantic literature. So, yes, this was absolutely wonderful. Um, I will definitely pick up the first book in this series. And also to note, um, I didn't, I haven't read the first book, but I believe you could for sure read this one first, like I did, because. I never, there wasn't like, oh, and Snow White or whatever, or they didn't have Snow, they, I don't think her name was probably Snow White, but um, you don't need to read the books in order so far, as again, this is the second book in the series, but I don't believe they are books that need to be read in a specific order. If you've read the first book and it links any, in any way to this, let me know. Um, I should, will be reading that book, probably not this year because it's almost December and I don't really want to buy a lot of more books, but I will be reading it for sure in the winter or spring of next year. I'll read the, second, the first book. But yes, this was a wonderful story and uh, I would definitely pick this up. Right now it's, I believe, $6.74 on Amazon Prime. I bought this at a Walmart, but I know that Walmart with romances, they typically get them and once they sell out, they sort of get a new shipment of new books. I don't know if they really sell out of this one and they get a, the, another order of the same book. I think they sort of get new books every couple weeks or every week just because the influx of so many books that are published every week. But yes, you can definitely pick this up at Amazon or maybe even your Walmart still. And it's under $7 at Amazon and I'm sure it's probably cheaper on the Kindle. Um, for paperback, I checked yesterday, it was $6.74, and I do believe it was part of the buy two, get one free deal. So if that's something you're interested in, you might be able to get this and some other books and get one of them for free. So that's always fun. Well, everyone, I hope you have a great day. Um, please leave me a like, as well as subscribe and comment. Um, if you've read this book or any other books by um, Sherris Michaels, let me know. I just thought this was wonderful. Well, have a great day. Follow me on Instagram at Southern Bell Canto, as well as TikTok at Southern Bell Canto. Have a great day, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye, everyone.